Hey gang, Emerson here. As you can see, uh, we've got two different ICOP divisions here with uh, myself and Ram in one, Roxo, Mechanic, and Pride in another. We are on the trap map. And we have all been spawned center. So, off we go. Now, we were talking, Ram and I, about how to approach this, and uh, ultimately decided that he was going to go into the cab and make use of his hydro. Because very often somebody will push in, whether, you know, if you're on the north side, somebody will push in on the south side, and vice versa. But with his hydro, he could see if somebody was just sitting on the other side of the island. But we do have a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of radar to contend with here. No planes, thank goodness. But a couple Des Moines. And then plenty of hydro on the enemy team. All I'm doing there is just trying to give the team, particularly those guys on the two line that are pushing at A, uh, Kremlin, Goliath, and Salem. Some idea of what RPF is telling me. Now I've got 25 seconds until my torps come back up. And I'm just trying to, I'm going to sit here long enough to attempt to create some area denial to make it a little bit easier for RAM. And then I'm going to be heading for A. And you can see that uh, Pride, Roxo, and Mechanic are all moving toward A, but able to support A and B. At least until this cyclone really gets cranked up. And I'm, of course, hoping Indy would turn in there. But... Now, around about now, pointing out to Ram, uh, <laughs> something he probably well knew already. Group first was pushing in on the other side of the B cap, which he just secured. And then he wanted to stay at least six kilometers away because Group first has hydro and he might get lit up so you'll see him take off here in a minute there he goes Guys really dodged a bullet here with all those torpedoes. Engine boost. Now we've got Salem and Goliath kind of backing behind the island. Kremlin is nose in, which is the safest position for him to be, but Pretty withering amount of fire coming this way. I'm going to get out here and just try to help secure this camp. Des Moines is reversing. I think he's probably going to get get outside of my 12-kilometer torpedo range. And you know, Mino's probably got his hydro up, so. Those torpedoes were just uh, wishful thinking, really. Now, 
Pride manages to take out the Des Moines and our Goliath here. Just, uh, <laughs> I'll never understand it. He decides he's just going to turn broadside to everybody in. So we lost our gearing and our Goliath there in quick succession. Okay, so we've got the cap, but we, we lost the Bravo cap because Ram was there by himself. He's not going to be able to hold the cap against a Smolensk and a Kurt. It's just, it would have been nuts for him to try. He's doing all he can to just slow them down. But they're going to have broadside shots on all of our guys if we don't know something about it. All the guys over here, anyway. Now you'll notice that we <laughs> were uh, 6 minutes and 15 seconds into the game. I have done zero damage. I've spotted three ships and helped secure cap. That's it. That's all I've done. But, while it would be easy to get frustrated at a complete lack of damage, uh, I generally try to just do my best to keep my head in the game and see if I can make something happen at some point. Now, one of the things about a torpedo boat, especially in a game that doesn't have a CV, is that, at least in my opinion, hanging on to your hit points till late in the game can make you extremely effective. Kurfurs is accelerating. He's going to run right out ahead of my torpedoes. I'm going to miss all of them. Now, my hope here was that he was going to, of course, turn and this way to help his teammates that are out on this flank, but that didn't work either. Colbert is heading my way, and Colbert is very fast, so I'm hoping that friendly fire from behind me will dissuade him coming this way. And it did. Crew first is right now deciding. No, no, I do not think I want to try and cross to help these guys. Thank you. 
Okay, so we've managed to uh, we've managed to grab Bravo back, but lost Alpha. We've lost Charlie. We do have a little bit of a points lead, and then uh, we managed to well, our Salem manages to take out the Holland, which gives us uh, a, a nice warm fuzzy feeling. Let's just say that I managed to land a torp, finally doing some damage. On the Kerr Force, who outran my torpedoes earlier. Was really hoping for a fire here, but... Nope. I'm plane spotted, but I'm guessing that uh, Kremlin's probably going to be able to kill that plane. I turned into the island immediately there once I realized I was plane spotted because... I can use the island to break line of sight from the plane. I was thinking about turning back and going the other way in order to catch that that battleship, but the Colbert pushing in changed my mind. Now you see I'm just playing with my throttle a little bit here to, to make it a little tougher on him to land every shot on me, but he's really getting it dialed in, so... I'm smoking up. I'm pretty sure his torps are probably on the way, but uh, Kremlin managed to finish him off, and maybe he didn't have his torpedoes up. Now, this is what I was talking about before, uh, as far as hanging on to your hit points. I'm playing a DD now. I know this guy's gonna fire everything he has at me, but. He was very smart. He loaded up HE. There wasn't really any way he was going to survive that. I probably could have held on to the... Well, certainly the third. And, you know, in retrospect, the, the second of the racks, but I wanted to make sure he died. So now, we have uh, a roughly 160 point lead. We've got two caps. And we've got more ships than the bad guys. Which really puts them in the position of having to push to make something happen, and that's exactly what you want when you're playing a stealthy destroyer. Now all I'm doing here is uh, trying to cover the Kremlin's flank. You can see last known position marker for the Hindi. Minotaur is out there with the Kremlin somewhere, and I'm just pushing this way hoping that I might be able to spot one or the other of them. Enemy gearing takes down our Montana. Brings them roughly 90 points of us. Now Kremlin just put everything he had at the Hindi, but the Hindi survived it. And now Kremlin is... You know, he's he's going to be taking a pretty withering... HG spam. I've got Torp coming back up. Our Kremlin goes down. Debating about whether to open up here. Obviously, the torpedoes would never work. Ram is out there ahead of him, and you'll see I'm holding my fire, holling my fire. I I'd be a one shot kill for the Cindy or a one volley kill for this Hindi. I am going to fire, but uh, I wanted to make sure I wasn't wasn't going to be able to be spotted, and in fact, I, I think I raised the turrets just a hair when I fired, and uh, they went right over him. So, talking with Ram, I suggested that he, you know, come hard to port and run around the island, just do you know, a little ring around the rosy with the Hindi, getting the Hindi to chase him, and I would make a nice batch of torpedo soup. You see I'm creating a little bit of time gap between the release of these two uh, sets of torpedoes because I want to cover as many angles as possible because it's almost certain that Hindi is going to be angled in in anticipation of Ram's torpedoes. Visibility is down to 8 kilometers. I'm about to be able to spot him. 
And the first, first batch missed him entirely. I'm going to go ahead and try and distract him here since he's focused on Ram. Second batch, no, no, no luck there either. But the third strikes home. Okay, so we have a pretty significant points lead, we have a ship's lead. But this is not over yet. And Ram and I are discussing the likelihood that we've got the gearing over there on the far side of the cap. And what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to torque cross to there, where you can see on the mini-map where my, I'm aiming, and he's going to torp across the other side. And that creates the best angles. You know, if somebody's angled kind of nose into the cap, that creates the best chance of somebody hitting it. Now, we're realizing that there's a Des Moines and a Kremlin out there. You see, I hung on to one set of torpedoes. And there's Kremlin. A range 12 on these torpedoes. So, I run across here. Hope I don't run into torpedoes myself. Let's see if I can't get. Uh, a torpedo or two into that Kremlin. Again, they kind of have to push. We're counting on that. You see the storm is abating. We're up to 21 kilometers of visibility now, where a minute or two ago we were down to eight. Just checking his current uh, trajectory, and it's, it's looking pretty good. He's turning in. But, unfortunately for him, it's just going to put him right in the way of my torpedoes. Down goes Kremlin. They're down to two ships. And now, unfortunately for them, it's a pretty desperate situation. Mechanic, he burned down. Uh, just an HE spamming uh, DD, I think, is one and ultimately put him in, in jeopardy and then Kremlin got him burning and finished him off. Here comes the gearing. I still have one smoke. I see he and the Des Moines. I'm still not in radar range, not till range 10. Somebody else has got the gearing spotted, at least for the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and put what shells I can on him. Managed to get a fire. And although my engine is out, I'm not going to repair because if I get a fire, I want to make sure I can put it out. Trying to stay out of radar range. And then gearing spots me, but he's, he's gone again behind his own smoke. He's just, just as concerned about getting killed off as I am. Okay, so gearing's probably out of my reach unless my torpedoes catch him. But I can continue to put fire on the Des Moines. I'm just going to put an island between myself and any shots from the gearing. And I can see the Des Moines is focused dead ahead, which allows me just to continue to make broadside shots on him. And this is just mopping up. This was a great game. It was really fun. I feel... Uh, pretty good about ICOP performance in this game. Everybody, everybody did really well, uh, and it was a really fun game to play. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.
エンジンブースト解除。